Hey guys, welcome back to Jared Dream Motorsports YouTube channel. We're back in the Mustang today and we are going to be doing something uh, that I've needed for quite some time and uh, I finally figured out how to do it relatively cheap. So, this ABS unit, specifically off of a 2014 uh, Mustang GT. And so, what we're going to do with it is do a retrofit for you to use that and the um, airbag module, the shrink control module in order to make it work. So if you look in the engine bay, we are pretty tight and wrapped. The only spot that I would really have sort of enough room is right here. I don't really know if I want to put it there and clog up this spot and have to route all the, wa uh, the uh, brake lines all the way underneath it. From the uh, uh, master cylinder, or from the master cylinder to the ABS and then all the way back. So I think what I'm gonna do is take two uh, lines and make it a pane for the two lines that go from the, AB, or from the uh, ABS module up to the uh, master cylinder, make those a little bit hard to uh, route. But then I think we're gonna take, and I've already been playing with it a little bit, I'll put the ABS module right up here. Then we'll drill a couple holes in, a couple holes out to uh, make it work and uh, that way it's kind of out of the way we're still running a passenger seat but depending on uh, you know what we do we may not run one for a super huge amount of time and even if we do I can still make a cover to go right here so the person still has a footwell area yeah first thing I need to do is go ahead and get the ABS module bracket because we're going to use the factory bracket. However, I've kind of got a couple spots here. We're going to cut this back tab off. We're going to cut it off right here. And then up here at the top, we're going to round this part off here. And that will give us a bracket that we will bolt to the floor. That way, the ABS module itself still has the little isolators that have it. Not that it really does much of taking away vibration. But I'm sure it does a little is there's there way in the factory and then I can even keep factory angle orientation of roughly 18 degrees so let's go ahead and get these brackets cut off all right first thing we're gonna do take the ABS pump off this bracket that way I can go ahead and cut it without getting shit all over the pump itself Come on. There. Recording and using these not the easiest, but I'm trying to show you guys more and more and more of everything we do instead of just telling you what we're going to do, do it, then bring it back. It's a little bit harder, it takes a little bit longer, but hopefully, it will come out with a better product for you guys to look at in the long run. So, all right, ABS pump is off. Let's go cut this bracket up. Okay, so here we are, brackets cut off, edges are rounded off a little bit at least. Enough for now, when we get it mounted up and done up properly, I will go ahead and take all the stuff off, paint it up, make it look nice. But, it's going to sit in the car, generally like this. And so I'm going to need two more tabs over here. Good thing I've got some. Here. And... So what I will do is get this set up into the right spot, clean it up, and I'm going to go ahead and weld these tabs on here. And what that will do is let us have it at the right angle and have enough mounting points that we can unbolt and bolt the bracket itself and leave the uh, unit right in the bracket like it would from the factory. So I'm going to get this mocked up, get these welded on, attacked on, and then we'll get it in the car and make sure it's in the right spot. You guys, there we have it. A couple quick little tack welds. Looks ugly as shit, but it'll look better when I actually fully weld it. But I want to make sure it's a little bit easier to bend the tabs. Right now they're pretty lined up, but 
clear that out, but I want to be able to bend them a little bit easier. And then tack weld them fully in, or weld them fully in once we get everything sorted in the right spot. So we're gonna get the pump, go back on the bracket, get the bracket, put it back in the car. All right guys, so apparently it's time to move the carpet in the car, but I think we're gonna go ahead and put it right about here. I think that'll work for our mounts up front. And then I'll go ahead and make just one for the underside there. Keep it a little bit of hang, hung off the edge. Yeah, let me see what I can find for that. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got a little square tube that I cut one of the ends off. Made it into a bracket that will stand off. I've drilled a hole in the center and we're gonna go ahead and put a rib nut in the middle. That way we can bolt the uh, bracket to this. We'll put a weld here under the body and a weld here under the body. And then we will do the same two rib nuts for the top holes. All right guys, there we are. We got a M6 rib nut in it, bolt is in. So what I'm gonna go do next, put it back in the car, get it at the right angle. And then we're gonna go ahead and weld each one of these ends here. Weld there and weld on the other side. And we'll go ahead and drill two holes, put rib nuts in here, two more M6s. She's bolted down. All right guys, not the easiest to see from where I'm sitting here, but I got the brackets and tabs, I got my holes marked, such. We're gonna go ahead and drill the holes up the top for the rib nuts. That will go ahead and make sure I got the final spot on the bottom proper. Then we'll do some welding on the bottom and then it will be mounted up. All right guys, there you have it. It's got a good little tack weld and I found there to hold it in place. I'm gonna pull the bracket back off fully weld those tabs back on it, finish welding up the uh, bracket or the uh, bracket brace on the bottom, and yeah, we'll be uh, done with this part. All right guys, so quick update on where we're at here. We've got the lines set to where I believe they are here. In all the diagrams it says that this one is primary, which would be front, and this one is secondary, which would be rear. I'm gonna really try to confirm that because these are the two front ports and these are the two rear ports. So that'd be opposite of what those are. And I know these are, that's confirmed 100% fronts, rears. But anyways, I'm getting the brake lines themselves plumbed and these will be the two easiest ones. So we're gonna stop there. But I've got two holes drilled for the rear lines and fittings put in them. So they're gonna go through that spot. The fronts are gonna go. Yeah, got the camera. Fronts are gonna go right up through those holes as well. So, yeah, we'll do that. Then I'll put two brackets under the floor on each side. And we'll go ahead and get them mounted up and get the lines run. Hey guys, so I apologize on this one, but I got a little bit behind on the ABS. So I didn't quite show everything, but everything was in before. It's all wired up now. Uh, RCM module is in, ABS module unit and everything is in, all the wire, or uh, all the uh, things are plumbed, it's all wired up. Uh, I have taken it out on a quick little test to make sure that it works, but um, we are getting ready to head to a race this weekend where we can really test it out on track. So yeah, um, wait for that. We've got a few other things we're wrapping up as well. We hope to have a really well working uh, ABS unit by the end of the weekend. So obviously it's gonna take a little bit of testing and tuning, but hopefully by session three or four, we'll be good.